Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. We're also doing exclusive content over on Patreon. We're in the middle of Produce 101. We're doing um, Dreamcatcher Note this week, as well as Hotel De Luna, Up to Idol, and Red Velvet Level Up Project Season 2 is on the free tier. Uh, today, though, we are continuing our post dive into Red Velvet uh, with some OST tracks from each of the members. So, Let's get into it. Okay, so first up, we have a track called Goodbye from Wendy um, from a show called The Beauty Inside. Let's go. Ooh. Right into the emotional ballad. No, no warm up. Seems like a cute romance between a barista and a CEO, maybe? Or does he just have like a ton of small jobs? Wendy's voice never fails to give me goosebumps, man. Seems like things aren't working out so well. Oh, is he a priest? Interesting. Okay. Other than it being kind of like a straightforward romance uh, story, I'm not really sure what the uh, show is about, but gosh, like, Wendy's got to have like a, a billion OST, right? Because she's just so dang good at it that uh, I imagine everybody's lining up to try and get her uh, for a soundtrack. Um, but yeah, like, this was... An incredible ballad, very heartfelt, like, gave me chills. It's just, you know, Wendy doing Wendy things. Um, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next up we have Solgi with a song called Always from uh, The Crowned Clown. Another kind of 
ballady vibe. Mm-hmm. like chest voice there but to go to a head voice mm. Okay, so that one was interesting, right? Like the, it played with my expectations a little bit, right? I was expecting kind of some of those big belty notes in the beginning of the song, and she flipped into her head voice instead um, and had this really kind of cool dynamic at the beginning part of the um, track. And then as we kind of moved forward, I should have expected this, but it again caught me by surprise when she switched from that head voice into that big belty notes for the last chorus and she just like 
absolutely nailed it. Um, I think this one, I feel like is is an iconic track. I don't know if that's true or not, but I it feels like one of those things that it's got a catchy melody. It's got a memorable um, vibe to it. I feel like this is one that might be popular. I, I'm not sure, but it feels like it might be. Um, and if it's not, it should be, because it's really, really good. Um, okay, next up we have Yeri's, uh, and Yeri has a OST called It's You. From Blue Birthday. Was this one of her dramas? Uh, it looks like it might be. She's like fake out. seems like a very kind of straightforward uh romance story but like i could completely be wrong that these k-drama uh ost mvs usually throw me for a loop um but the song right had this kind of jazzy groove in the chorus that i was really a big fan of i think um it's a completely different vibe than um, Always or Goodbye. It's a little more upbeat, a little happier. Um, and instead of kind of this wistful longing feeling, it's a little more like, hey, we're actively in the feelings of being in love in this one. Um, and yeah, this was dope. I really liked it. 
um, especially like a hundred percent more than anything else in the song that little chorus bit where it, the groove picked up is like chef's kiss really good okay next up we have Irene's a white knight oh is this like a wrestling or a sumo um drama interesting I didn't know she was in this drama. this restaurant <laughs> like the first time.
It seems like a pretty chill series, right? More or less. It seems like two people really kind of striving to uh, achieve their dreams and then maybe finding each other during the process of that. But like, I, I don't really know what the lyrics were, but the song had this very kind of relaxed vibe to it through the whole thing. Um, I just really... It kind of, it's, I think it does something that some OSTs are really good at and some OSTs are, um, there are like different types of OSTs, right? I feel like there's the ones that really hook your attention and pull you into the song as the scene is going on. And there are other ones that blend into the scene really well and add something, but like aren't as, directly in your face about it uh and this feels like the second one of those things it blends very well into the video um you know it's there it adds this calming soothing emotion to the scene but it's not right up in your face um which you know like i think one of the things that you hear a lot about a soundtrack from western movies is that the best kind of soundtrack is the one you don't even notice is there um because it just you but you feel it right like you feel the emotions from it but if you were to go point out an individual track it would be kind of difficult um this feels kind of like that i don't know if i would recognize this song right away if uh somebody played it back for me but it would immediately evoke kind of that same feeling of just calm, happiness, um, like, and a little bit of, like, maybe this soft kind of um, longing for somebody. That's, that's the vibes I'm getting from this one. It seems cute. Next up, we have uh, Joy's OST. I do not have an English title for this one, so uh, I just know it's from Yo Buya. Buya? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, it's another. It's another OST where Joy's in it. Uh, it's cool that they get so many um, OSTs where they're actually actors in the drama. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love these kind of like recording studio MVs too.
Did they know each other back in school? Or is she in high school in this? was cute i mean i think uh joy's music video or joy's like osts and solo work always kind of has that vibe of um cute to it it's just a uh her voice naturally lends itself uh to like a more adorable kind of tone um and this seems like a sweet romance. She's a musician. It seems like maybe it travel, like it follows them throughout the years of them knowing each other, where from high school to much later, similar to kind of the vibe that um, Yeri's uh, drama had as well. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. I think it, it had a nice uplifting kind of vibe to the production even though it seemed like maybe the the music itself was talking a little more about being separated from the person that they're interested in um which means you know like maybe there's a little more hardship there than uh is portrayed by the production and kind of the the cutesy sound of her tone um which is always nice. Like, I think that gap is kind of cool, too. It's something that I enjoy. All right. Um, next up, we have... Wait, is that it? I think that might be it. Yeah, okay. So that was it. Um, I think of these, um, Yeri's It's You might be my favorite, uh, along with for that chorus in particular, and then maybe always uh, after that. I think all of them were fantastic, uh, but those two really, really stood out for me um, between the production and uh, some of the catchier elements of them. Joy's I really enjoyed as well, just from a kind of like, it had a nice bop to it um, that got me going, which was fun. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for us for today, guys. So until next time, love you.